Hi, I'm Chuck Carlton of the Dallas Morning News here with Kate Aropoulos talking some SMU football, which uh, we actually have a little something to talk about this year. <laughs> Chad Morris here begins on the hilltop with plenty of hope and plenty of hype. Just don't expect miracles overnight. Kate, from the standpoint of SMU, a lot of buzz around Chad Morris. But realistically, in year one, what can we expect? Well, it's going to be a tough start, first of all, considering they play Baylor and TCU in two of uh, Yikes. the first three weeks of the season. So he's got a rough start. But we're looking long-term, obviously, coming off the 1-11 season a year ago. And he seems to have found a quarterback this year that will work. Uh, Matt Davis, the former Texas A&M transfer, it seems like his uh, Chad Morris' smash mouth spread will be better suited to Matt Davis. Um, they're also going to focus on running the ball more, which is pretty much opposite of what uh, SMU did under June Jones in the run and shoot. Uh, are the results going to be immediate? I mean, that's a tall order, as we've said. But long term, you have to feel good about where SMU could be headed with Chad Morris, the former high school coach in the state of Texas, and his relationships here and what he can do recruiting-wise. Yeah, and it seems like SMU is making far more inroads in Texas and especially in the DFW area than June Jones and his predecessors did. And you give Chad Morris high marks for that. But bottom line, you're talking a one-win team last season. What's realistic this year? Bottom line, I think three and nine would be something that they'd have to take and be proud of and hope that they can show recruits that they're building for the future. Thanks for watching. I'm Chuck Carlton. I'm Kate Heropolis. Thanks for watching.